to show you some useful keyboard shortcuts for Windows Media Player. The first one I want to show you guys is how to play or pause a song or whatever you're watching or listening to. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and press Ctrl and P. As you can see, that starts to play a song. And if I press it again, it's going to pause. Now if I click on Ctrl S, it's going to stop altogether. As you can see when I do that, the stop icon is now grayed out instead of blue. Now I'm going to click on Ctrl P again, and I'm going to play a song. Now if I click on Ctrl Shift and G, it's going to speed up the song. As you can see, it's playing a bit faster. And if I click on Control Shift and S, it's going to slow it down. So now it's playing pretty slow. If I click on Control Shift and N, it's going to go back to a normal speed. If I click on Control F, it's going to go to the next song. And if I click on Control B, it's going to go back to the previous song. If I click on Control Shift and F, it's going to fast forward. As you can see, it's now playing a lot faster. And if I click on Control Shift and F again, it's going to go back to normal. If I click on Control H, it's going to turn on shuffle. And I'm going to click on Control F, which is going to go to the next song. As you can see, it doesn't go to the next song in the list. Instead, it goes down here. That's because it's on shuffle. And if I click on Control B, it's going to go back to the previous song again. Now, if you click on Control Shift and C, it will turn on lyrics, captions, and subtitles. Now, that's something that will come in handy if you're watching a movie and you'd like to have subtitles on the screen. Now, if I click on F8, it will turn the volume down. Now, on some computers, it will be just F8. On other computers, you'll need to press the FN key as well. As you can see, that turns the volume down. And if I press F9, it's going to turn the volume up. Now, if I press F7, it's going to mute the volume. So as you can see now, you can't hear anything, and it's still playing. And I'm going to go ahead and press F7 again, which is going to unmute it. Now, if I press Control and J, it's going to eject. So in other words, it's going to open the CD DVD drive on your computer. If I click on Control and O, it's going to go to open. So as you can see, it says open. If I click on Control and U, it's going to go to open URL. If I click on Control and N, it's going to go to create playlist. As you can see, right now it says untitled playlist. If I click on Control and 2, it's going to go to the skin. So that would be this player right here. And if I click on Control 1, it's going to go back into Windows Media Player. If I click on Control 3, it's going to go to Now Playing. So as you can see, when I do that, it goes into this screen. I'm going to click on Control 1 again to go back to Windows Media Player. If I click on Control M, it's going to hide the menu bar. And if I click it again, it's going to show the menu bar. Now, as you can see, I'm playing a video. So right now I have the video on 150% zoom, and if I click on Alt 2, it's going to go back to 100%. So as you can see, it makes it smaller, and if I click on Alt 1, it's going to bring it down to 50%, so it makes it even smaller. So again, Alt 2, 100%, Alt 3, 150%. If I click on Alt and Enter, this is going to go to full screen. As you can see, it's now in full screen, and if I click it again, it's going to go small again. If I click on F1, it's going to go to Windows Media Player Help. So as you can see, it says Windows Help and Support and Windows Media Player. So those were some useful keyboard shortcuts for Windows Media Player. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.